Hello, my darling. Here's three downloads that I received through the lens of a spiritualist from Disney Pixar's Elementals. Welcome back to another episode of Gullah Grits TV. We're here on this channel. We make spirituality make sense by making it make sense because ain't nobody got time to be confused. So today we are talking about Disney Pixar's Elemental. I have an unhealthy obsession with this movie. E extremely unhealthy because I have watched this movie the amount of times that I have hairs on my head. So first of all, the movie is about a city where all the elements are existing and they have their own like lives and things and just it's just so incredible to see how they thought of this concept really which brings me to our first download the elements themselves look at all these elements so if you watch this movie you'll notice that there's the water is conscious the air is conscious the earth is conscious and fire is conscious these elements are all conscious just like in our natural world these elements are actually conscious it makes you think of life differently it makes you think of nature differently maybe we should respect the water because it is alive and holds memory maybe we should not pollute our air because we need to breathe maybe we shouldn't cut down trees because trees interact with us as well maybe we should respect fire because fire so the movie takes place with ember and wade two elements different from different backgrounds that end up falling in love with each other now one thing that was really really hard was ember came from her family came from old country her family were immigrants from the fire nation i don't know if that fire fire the fire nation i don't know but Wade had come from a very abundant place. He was basically like, you know, living in the suburbs and basically Ember was from the ghetto. And all Ember wanted to do was to make her parents proud, especially her dad, because she knew that she was destined to take over the shop that her dad had uh, built by his hands. So, like I said, she only wanted to make her parents proud, but in the wake of doing so, she lost touch with who she was and what she wanted because her entire life was basically about becoming the owner of the shop and she never had a dream, so she didn't know what to do. And then along comes Baby Daddy Bloop Bloop because I loved Wade. Wade in this movie, Wade, I want me a Wade. I love, anybody with the name Wade so far has been on my good list. They've been on my nice list. Like Wade from Noah's Ark, Wade from Elementals, Wade in the Water. I just love it all. So Wade comes in. He actually falls in when uh, uh, Ember is trying to control her anger. He actually gets sucked into her pipes, into her shop, and he's a city inspector. So he ends up writing her citations. Then they have this whole thing where she chases him to try and get the citation so the citation can be removed so her family shop does not get shut down. And in doing so, this is where their love story begins. Bringing us to takeaway number two, respect for tradition, but following your heart. So it is very difficult. If you are in any type of spiritual practice, or if you are just trying to become more spiritual within your awakening process, you are going to find that there will be traditional methods of doing things, but there's also ways of following your heart what feels good for your heart and what feels good with your traditions. So finding that balance of what works for you and what feels the best for you, because everything is about feeling, everything is about emotion, everything is about the frequency of how you feel while you're doing something. So Ember was really disconnected from who she was because she was more focused on who she had to be and that instead of being able to do what she wanted but wade wade came in there giving these eyes y'all saw these eyes if you saw the movie wade came in there giving these eyes i want somebody to look at me the way when wade looked at ember when i tell you he was like hell come high water that's gonna be mine and i loved it i loved it one thing that i just absolutely loved about it is that he was his character itself was uh, water and the water people were very emotional. 
they would cry at anything. If you, if I had a nickel for how many times I walk around my house going, drip, drip, drip goes the baby. I love that movie, and I love the water, uh, the water people because they were they were not afraid to show their emotions. Love that aspect of it. It was the the fluidity of water and the elements themselves even manifested in that way of them their attitude being the same way as their element now child ember ember had it all ember had the anger issues ember was mad as hell ember was mad at the world and she didn't know why one thing that i loved about her was that she she was able to realize through this newfound relationship that she had with this emotional element she was able to get to the core of what her issues were which were her not knowing what her true passion was for herself and not even having the idea of how to decide for herself. Which brings me to takeaway number three, allowing yourself to be loved. Ember would not allow herself to fall for Wade because one, her parents disapproval, yes. The elements not mixing, yes. But she also could not figure out why she did not allow herself to want to be in this moment and in this relationship. The same way that Wade was like, I don't care about any of that. I'm going to get this. And I loved how he was just as um, strong as water itself, very persistent like water itself. That same drip, that one drip, 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 that one drip that can that can make a hole in a rock over time. He knew that I was going to, I'm going to make sure that I take my time. So that way, when the time comes, you'll be ready to love me because I already love you. I can honestly say that watching this movie come to life was something just so beautiful and incredible. And... The way that it made me feel with giving me hope for, you know, the journey of love, giving me hope for the journey of finding my true passion, because we are all on a journey of finding out who we are and what we want for ourselves. Are we going to allow our anger to to keep us repressed and do nothing about it to calm that storm? Or are we going to be persistent like the water? until we achieve our goals. I don't know. I don't know. But that's all I'm saying. I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10 because Lord, Lord, I go to sleep. I watch this movie like it's my lullaby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Follow me for more spiritual tips. And if you would like to book a spiritual session with me, you can go on over to my website, miramercy.com, and I'll see you soon. See you guys in the next video. Bye.